out the team a lot there because level one Ricky is not really all that great. He's going to get hit with the dust one more time. This time doesn't have any regeneration in addition, and this time the arrow is also going to land. Leap forward. This is going to be first blood, and the silencer will grab it. That's a little bit of int for him and away from the Ricky. And so is going to be pretty happy with that one. Spin on. From no one, he looks for the kill. He's got two levels in chain, which is a bit unusual for the mid lane. Skylark, though, likely to drop here. He's going to try and burrow away. Arrow's going to finish him off. Nicely placed by Lil. And because it was nighttime, shot half from the fog there. And is able to for the duration of cold snap and then chain back into safety. But uh, it's, a, it's definitely a bit peculiar. I mean, it's hard to hard to really criticize when he's winning the lane like he is. Um, but he is going to be forced back to base for now. As they do finally bring down Pasha in the bottom lane. But, you know, gank attempts. Pasha under the cover of Vendetta. Dyer using a scan as well. Gonna find Solo and Skylark rotating through. They should be able to get this Sand King and they will. M MNT gonna be able to back off the spike though and the Vendetta hit, bringing Thug low. One last right click from Nolan will get the more valuable return kill. MNT's forced to blink down to the low ground. Shockroom is a bit short. Everyone from their squad comes in, ends up being a one for one trade and they lose the more valuable target. Pasha though, he's being jumped on by Madara in the low end of the river. The sun strike from Thug is on point. And they will get a return kill after losing their invoker mid lane. So very nice for him to get a little. Uh, not much opposition really from the uh, from the Sand King, mostly because Sand King's been bullied back so much. Lil No Marana, fairly weak, being stalked by a Ricky Sunstrike. Ricky didn't do anything, no big deal. All invoker. That's what happens when you have a mobile observer ward like Ricky. Sometimes you just get those kills. You wise is is not a terrible idea either. Most likely going for the durability. Skylark, though, he's in a little bit of trouble right now. Pasha is going to land the easiest impale of all time. Here comes the chain for the kill steal. Good job, Timmersaw. You earned that one for the team. Either way, it's going to be a Sand King down and solo now at eh, four oh, intelligence. Lil. Never mind. Had barely enough mana with the arcane rune, but. Mandara still chasing him down. Sunstrike is there. It's not going to connect. Mandara should be able to finish him off, though. Uses the blink strike as opposed to waiting one second for the dagger. And now Pasha, he's going to TP and could be in a little bit of trouble solo. He's been demonic purged up by Spartan, who will TP out. Last word going to hit him. Oh, the Ooh. right click is there. And solo will find a return kill as Madara goes a little bit deep for that one to back off AF and secure this one-for-one -one tower trade that you were talking about. Juggernaut Yrimz is, is going to be the one to pick up the last hit there. No one jumping forward with the Impale Skylark. He's going to be down. Global Silence will cover the kill. Spartan in trouble now as well. We'll get hit with the double Star Storm, but he is uh, still there. He's going to be able to respond immediately. Bot lane and grab themselves the safe lane. So both Yo, teams... Lil is finally going to get it. <laughs> Huge yeah. chase, but uh, sometimes you just get rewarded for persistence. Solo's going okay. to arrive and walks into the smoke screen. Can't really do all that much, but a free Shadow Demon does have a disruption for himself, but that can only buy him a minor amount of time. He's, wow, wow. going to get a very fast disruption, but again, very small amount of time. Spin will do him in. Solo going to grab even more intelligence, now up to an 8 swing for the team. So, yeah, VP get a, a pretty nice pick off on the Shadow Demon, but still at Phenomar playing their game plan almost perfectly because of how much farm this PA has gotten, how much leveling played. They're going to, uh, well, Camp out in the trees. Pasha Invis is going to find nothing yet. I don't know if he sees Skylark there. He probably will, but now they have sentries on the deck, so they know that Pasha is somewhere in the corner. Now here comes the epicenter. Channeled up by Skylark. Fresh blink dagger as well. Pasha's still in this corner. Arrow's going to miss Madara, though, so Pasha will still survive for a little while longer until maybe next time jumps in and slays him. Spin in the middle is not going to do all that much. Skylark's going to try to retreat from his initiation. He's not going to get out of there. Omnislash going to kill off a whole bunch of creeps. That's not good. G Global Silence, though, does go off, and that is much better. It's going to take down one. Voker will survive. They're still trying to go in pretty deep. Madara and maybe next time. How did you get in these trees? You should not be there. They're both going to get slain. Sunstrike will barely miss the Juggernaut. And VP will take a four for one exchange. He's still on the Juggernaut. Maybe just hoping for a dagger crit and trying to TP out in the trees. But no one. Nice awareness there. Able to punish them. Lil in trouble. Blink forward. Oh, nice tricks of the trade there. MNT on the backside. Will find himself a kill. Onto Lil's Marana, and this is a hero that onto Pasha, but it looks like it's just a zoning one as Madara does blink back towards his team. They're not going to get fooled by Greed once again, and they will be able to try and back off. Shadow Demon, though, Spartan, he won't be as lucky. Spartan going to end up going down. He will be the trade over for the Roche, and I'm sure Ad. Well, Skylark has an epicenter up. And if he stays in the back, maybe not going to get that cancel, but they're going to jump on him immediately with the Chakram. Skylark's going to get obliterated first thing. They also have Spartan stuck in a corner in the meantime spin. 
Well, it's going to force the PA to jump away. Someone's in a bubble there. It's Spartan himself, and that's not going to last that long. He's going to go down. Maybe next time's in the thick of things. He's still invisible, though, as Madara now going to jump in along with Thug, but he gets tagged with an arrow and just blended by the Timber Saw. Madara now on the run. Timber Chain going to land. Couple more right clicks from the Juggernaut. Another blink out by Madara. He Smoke screen. Trying still. to. Skylark's going to go for it, but he burrows forward and doesn't hit anything. He will get connected on with the arrow despite the Sandstorm. Global Silence will be there. Madara will be able to purge it off with BKB. Skylark makes it out to the west, and they will be able to bring down Solo. Now Madara turns for Lil, who pounces into her own death. Madara gets a couple of kills in this one. Skylark does end up going down on the back side of it. No one he's going to be able to dodge the Sunstrike for now. MNT will be brought down to Ramsey's with the Omni Slash Thug. He's going to be slowed up, but can he make it away from Ramsey's? The <laughs> Demonic Purge. What a reaction from Spartan. The Fusal Blade Charge, eat your heart out. Blink forward, though, from Ramsey's. Ghost Walk's going to be there from Thug. And it looks like Thug will be able to make it away over. Increases 10 seconds per level. Uh, with the spell but either way they're gonna smoke up behind no one and a jump forward with the uh, global silence they are gonna be able to eliminate the shadow blink and diffusal blade they get nothing more for now but it's 30 seconds no shadow demon meanwhile top lane thug is gonna be able to secure the tier two with his forge spirits and the alacrity more than likely tp in from no one he will be able to blink out and join up with skylark and now adfina may look to engage on mid lane solo pretty low they do have dust. They'll jump forward with the Burl Strike, be able to take him out. They want more now. Pasha's is in trouble. He's been dusted up as well. Madara gonna jump forward with the BKB. No potential for Pasha to turn and save himself. He looks to try and bring down Skylark with him. Will be unsuccessful in doing so. And a clean two picks on the back lines. Nicely played. Good communication from Adfinum as they're able to take a tower top lane, save their tier two, and get a couple of supports on the way out to respond to the Spartan kill that they conceded earlier. They are using BKB Charge. It's going to be what's tipping these fights. Yeah, that and the smoke screen for sure. Those three tools are going to be massive. Um, if Skylark can find an initiation, and it looks like he's looking to bottom lane with the epicenter, they get the smoke screen. Sunstrike is there. Four staff out for now. Pasha survives. It looks like he will be able to make it out. And Spartan will lose his life for it. Maybe next time is pretty close to danger, but there's no true sight here, so it looks like he'll be just fine. Really it? They have one sentry and one pack of dust. They uh, were uh, br they were bringing sentries over on the courier yeah. as well. So, oh, solo. Oh, nice burrow coming out from Skylark. He's going to catch two TPs. Pasha in a little bit of trouble. Blink forward. Dust will find him. He gets the carapace off, but he should be dead here regardless. Demonic Purge is going to be there. He'll slow up Madara from being able to kill him off, and the Demonic Purge will be what does the deed in the end. But it's another two kills on the back line. Be uh, but again, Epicenter is usually kind of just a bonus. He's still going to go in, finds no one, but the Chakram completely misses. In the meantime, they found Pasha, and he is going to get Burrow struck up. Sunstrike coming in, plus the PA. They grab the kill there. They have another target in their sights. It's Solo. I don't think they're fast enough. They're going to Blink Strike over to the Creeps, try to purge him up with the Cold uh, with the cold Snap in combination, and the Arrow's coming in. Another Dagger, no crit. Tornado, and the Deafening Blast is whipped up. They're going to put the Alacrity on. Deafening Blast now going to land. Solo in his base was almost there to safety. But not quite. Adfinem relentless in searching down kills. these kills. Yeah, Adfinem. Maybe Active will turn the Burrow Strike, stuns on everyone. But now here comes Madara with the big crits, and no one is un unable to Bloodstone Suicide, but will die to the Caustic Finale or Sandstorm there. <laughs> Either way, uh, that was definitely all according to the plan from Adfinem. Again, oh, no find one an again. angle onto no one. Doug is still here. Here comes the Epicenter, Sunstrike, Meteor, everything in the kitchen sink. He's going to put up the Lotus Orb for himself. He does have a Suicide this time, although he does have a lot of backup. That might just be better if he turns around and fights it out. Pipe doing some serious work right, there. Chains blamed. all missing, though, as they will find Skylark with Pasha Impale and the Burrow. Further stunning him with the Mana Burn. They'll get the kill on the Sand King. But more importantly, keep no one alive. They do finally have that Aghanims also well, although he looks like he's stopping off for an MKB now that he's seen the butterfly. Uh, but they push buildings fast and bash up onto Solo. Sunstrike will be there finishing off the Silencer. Does a lot of damage to Ramses as well. Forces him to BKB. He is going to blink out. He's going to be solo soaking this Omni Slash, but does have the blur right now. So Madara, he's okay. He'll blink up to the high ground. Ramses may be in trouble here. Smokescreen goes down. They do have the healing ward, but a blink down to the Logan from MNT. Couple right clicks. Madara not lucky enough to get a bash and will have to back himself away. Meanwhile, on the east side, Thug gonna EMP up Pasha as he walks under sentry range. Madara forced to BKB, turns onto no one. Burrow Strike will be there, but it's reflected by the Echo Shell. No one, though, he's still in trouble. Crit will finish him off. Madara survives by holding onto the BKB that entire time, being able to... Uh, VP, they do have the tools to kind of chase these heroes down in these situations, but at least in that fight, Adfinem abusing the crap out of Cliffs, and oh, there was a silencer there. 
Uh, that was definitely a four-digit crit. Not really sure what the total tally was there, but uh, Silencer's real dead, and that means Global Silence is off the table. That means Roche yeah. is on the table for Adfinem. This is number three, I believe, but it, either way, it has a cheese, and there's not much stopping Madara. They're going to jump up the high ground. Oh, slay the Nyx Assassin, like two shots, a huge burrow strike onto the two. The Sunshine got to no one. They crit down the Mirana as well. Madara's taking a lot of damage in the midst of this Ramsey's BKB. Trying to do what he can, Madara's gonna land the Abyssal onto no one, still fighting, will finally get blended down and killed off. Thug is running low on mana, Ramsey's though is not running low on right clicks, he'll chop down the Shadow Demon looking for another target, can't find them because they're all blinking out, but it's a 3 for 3 exchange. Actually pushing these towers, they're not yeah. really making that much headway. Jump forward, strike. Bro strike is gonna connect onto two, they will get an arrow though immediately. With the global, they'll burn him down. Looks like Skylark maybe just wanted to jump in Burrow and force out, but they punish him immediately using that global. He does have a buyback available, still has Epicenter in hand, but, you know, not able to get that Echo Shell off quickly enough after the global. Skylark just pays with his life. Jump forward, Thug is going to get a Tornado EMP Meteor there. They are going to buy back now, and MNT is going to jump in as well, but they force everyone out of the smoke screen. No one, he's a little bit deep behind enemy lines as Madara jumps forward into the front lines, but he will turn back and finish off the Timber Saw. Not sure the Aegis, it looks like the Aegis maybe just expired there. Now everyone has to run. There's still a Diffusal Blade up on this Ricky. He's got to blink in six seconds. So everyone trying to make it out solo. Looks like he'll be the casualty here. Oh. Big crit from the dagger. Tornado will finish him off. They find Lil as well. Smoke screen him up. He's going to drop. That's three heroes for Adfinum taken down. It cost them a buyback on their Sand King. And it didn't feel like Skylark was even really useful. In Being able to Phantom Strike to any target and slay whatever target pretty much immediately is pretty big game. Burrow Strike here onto Ramsey. Sun Strike here as well. BKB charge is going to be put up. But the oh. huge crits from Adar kill him off. He's forced to buy out Pasha. Is hit with the tornado EMP. That's not quite going to kill him off. It's going to do a lot of damage. Silencer to guarantee no shenanigans from Global Silence, but he doesn't even have it anyway. Taking a lot of damage from the right clicks of Thug. He'll be chased down. In the meantime, back end, they found the Juggernaut, forced him into the Omni Slash already very low. He will get the blink out. Skylar going to give chase, but the BKB can't do anything as a Sand King. Madara going to slice through Marana. That's one down. Pasha going to try to put up Spike Carapace, but Madara's going to crit right through it with the BKB helping him stay alive. That's three down as Madara's delivering like 1,300 crits somewhere mm. along those lines. That's three down, and Adfinem are looking at a pretty easy set of Raxes. Never mind, they're looking at a GG VP. They tap out. They just couldn't answer this Phantom Assassin. Hey, we called on Thug before the high ground over on the Radiant side, and Thug was definitely the MVP.